everybody and welcome back to Wolfden. I recorded this video about three to four weeks ago and I just got a bit behind on getting it uploaded. Hopefully I will be able to start playing Wolfden some more again that way I can also upload some more videos. Until then you'll get to see some more of the new player tutorial in this one. Okay we're back with some more Wolfden introductory quests. Let's choose Battle On. Sounds good. Learn the basic strategies of battling and how to manage your HP levels. HP is not something that they have on Lyodin. I think that's the only difference on the stat bar over at the side. We have energy, hunger, and XP on the Lyodin stat bar, but we don't have HP. Tala has a new lesson. Go to your den to speak with her. Today will be a good day to explain to you some basics on battling, and what better way to teach you than to show you by example. Come let us go to Crossroads and the Explorer token. Once there, choose a biome you have fully scouted or your home biome. Okay, so let's go to Explore, my home biome. I don't think, have I actually explored those? Let me click on it, just see what it does. Okay, no, I haven't, I haven't unlocked it yet. Okay, let's click on, click on the home biome. Here we go, this will do nicely. Say, why don't you take a step and explore right now? I wonder what you'll come across. Looks like it's night too now. Let's fight it. We're going to fight a lone wolf. Starting battle. Here we are, I'm your next lesson. Let's run through, oh, so we're actually finding, fighting Tala. So as you explore, you'll find different opponents in different biomes and all have varying level ranges. The higher the level is, the tougher the opponent is to beat. Uh, let's run through the basics of battle. Oh, it is generally expected that harder biomes will have harder opponents, so expect more difficulty in taking down your enemies. However, they might have better rewards. Winning battles like this are the core of what you should do as pack leaders. With every successful battle, you'll gain XP, which or experience, I should say, which lets you level up and get stronger. Sometimes enemies drop loot too, which can range from a small bonus to a big one and a rare drop. Now back to the battle itself. I am very well trained in a high level, so your chances of winning against me are slim. In fact, I'll let you know now. There's no possible way you'll win. Maybe you will one day, but definitely not today. However, I'll go easy on you for a while so you can practice the moves on me shortly. Each move costs energy and damage you take, and battles will last outside of the battle, so be sure to have a stock of healing items. Okay, and remember different enemies will require different strategies to take down. Think about some of the attributes of your enemy. Some might be stompers, some might be brave, some might be cowardly. You'll learn this as you go along and get more experience fighting. Enough chit chat. Try some moves on me and have fun. After 10 moves, I will move against you. Let's see how we go. Okay, I have no idea. How about lunge? Uh, bite? Because we're, we're not going to win anyway, it said. So I'm just going to do whatever I guess <laughs> okay we get 10 moves right and then she's going to do something uh come on okay crush latch again uh shear okay how long do we have to do this for latch shear bite oh finish okay so she like hit me out all of a sudden Sorry I had to do that, Isla. As a consolation, I'm going to fully heal you now, so you'll be so you'll be all fresh to continue battling and exploring. After that, I think we're done. Well done. You've completed the quest. Here are your rewards. A medicine. Oh, we got medicine. Rich healing salve. Okay. I think that was that quest. So we should be done with that one. Let's go back to do another quest. Send in the scouts. Discover the scout role and learn how to scout out new territories around your biome. Go to Crossroads, select Explore. Today we're going to learn about scouts. Here we can see your biome, the area in full color on your map marked with the green paw print. You'll notice there are two other biomes available that are grayed out. These are the neighboring biomes that you have already discovered. Or that you haven't? Because they are grayed out, it means they have not yet been fully scouted. Oh, so we've discovered them, but we haven't scouted them and you cannot explore those areas yet we, we can't explore them yet let's just leave it at that this is where a scout comes in a scout can be sent to discovered areas to find out more about them when an area has been fully scouted it will appear on your map in full color and you'll be able to explore it not only that but you could move your pack's location there later if you feel like it so i'm not stuck in the mountains as well as these grayed out biomes you will see a lot of black space on your map this is undiscovered territory if it does not border already fully scouted territory 
territory, it will be too distant to scout for now. However, if it does border fully scouted territory, you will notice a gray question mark pin on top of that, which is right there. This means you'll be able to send a scout to discover it, but before we go any further, I will show you how to get a wolf into the scout role. Go to a wolf that you own. This wolf should not be you. Uh, you oh, because I can't have a role. And be an adult in your pack, I'll meet you there. Um, hopefully, can I do one that's already in a pup sitter role? Uh, I don't know who's the pup sitter. I think the newly befriended wolf is a pup sitter. Well, Umbra is hunting. Does that matter? Great, this one will do nicely. As before, when we set a hunter, go to the settings tab and choose scout role. But if he's hunting, can he be a scout? I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, role cannot be changed right now. Okay, so we'll go back to den. Uh, newly befriended wolf. Well, he's pup sitting. So I guess we can change that later. Scout see if it'll let me okay I just have to remember to go back and put him in a pup sitter oh shoot he's currently on a pup sitting cooldown he'll be able to take oh crap so I'll have to get another wolf later so I have a pup sitter unless I don't really need one because on Lyodin you don't need a I don't remember what they're called on Lyodin because I don't use them any a brood mother you don't actually need a brood mother slash pup sitter on Lyodin so long as you always keep the cubs uh mood level up i just use play all with mine every day and i have not had a cub run away or get hurt in forever and i can't remember the last time i used brood mothers excellent now we have a scout and we can get this started go to the crossroads and select the explore token i know i could just click the links in the little text box but i just like doing it manually just so i'm getting familiar with every where with where everything is okay so now we have a scout and plenty of territory to scout out scouting takes energy from the scout in 10 percent increments with the exception of scouting out a new area scouting out a new area takes 60 percent energy and always requires an hour to complete as you scout out areas, you gain some completion percentage towards their bar. All areas require 100% to complete, and some will take longer than others to fully complete. Scouts with better stats will scout out areas more quickly. Stamina would be a good stat to work on for a scout, but I am sure you will focus on that at a later date. I think we should discover a new area. Select one of the areas on the map that you have not yet discovered. This will be a blacked out area with the gray question mark. How about the one at the top? Uh... Aha, I wonder what's out here. Select a scout and send them off to discover this area. It will take 60% energy, so make sure your scout has enough and will take an hour to complete. Sadly, I can't speed this up for you this time. Well, thanks a lot. Okay, we're going to choose that one. We're going to scout. Wait for your scout to complete. As soon as the scout is completed, hit the finish scouting button on the biome page that you're scouting on. If you want, you can pause this quest to hide my window right now over on the questing page. Remember to unpause before you finish scouting. Okay, yeah, I'm going to pause this quest. Okay, pause the quest. Yes. Let's move on to the next quest, which is not just for bears. Learn how to make caves and utilize them to organize your pack. And then we get 100 silver cones. Tala's waiting for you. Go to our den. I'm here to teach you some more steps. You and your pack are already on the path to greatness. I can feel it. Today we'll learn about caves. Caves are a very useful tool for organizing your pack. You can assign wolves to different caves and name caves how you like. It really makes everything easy to put your wolves exactly where you want them. Why, I've even heard of packs setting up a cave just to put their wolves for trade there. Let's start by making one. You'll see an area called create a new cave uh, on your den page. Okay, create a new cave on your on your den page, uh, right down here at the bottom. Okay, caves usually cost ingredients to craft, large leaf, large branch, and large rock in amounts that vary depending on how many caves you already have. However, today you're in luck. Your first cave is free. Create a cave right now. Yes, let's do so. Amazing, you now have a new cave. You'll be able to see it on your den page. When you're back on your den page, you'll see a link besides your cave that says manage with the cave's name, which brings us to the area that we're at now. And here's where you manage your cave. You can change your cave's name and the sort order. Go ahead and give your cave a new name. Uh, oh, right here, my bad. How about just main cave? <laughs> sure, okay. 
This is where I'll put most of my wolves, I suppose. Oh, that's a good name. That definitely makes it much easier. You'll be able to see a drop down besides move selected that lists your current caves. As you get more caves and want to and want to move wolves between them, you'll select a wolf here and choose the cave you want to move it to. That reminds me, I haven't shown you how to put a wolf into a cave yet. Okay, let's go back to your den page and choose one of the wolves that you own. Make sure it's not you though, as you can't be put into a cave. What happens if I just click on wing hunters? Okay, that does go to my den. Okay, uh, go back to your den page and choose one of the wolves that you own. Um, how about the newly befriended wolf who probably needs a name, but I really don't like giving my creatures actual names half the time okay this is a little more simple to move this wolf into a cave click the settings tab then scroll down until you see the cave option choose a cave from the drop down and then update your wolf it will get moved into that cave okay that's pretty that's pretty easy settings and then uh where the cave oh choose cave main cave and then update Pretty simple. This is how Leiden functions in that sense. Great, your wolf is now in this cave. I think that's all I need to tell you about caves, so we will finish here. Well done. I am sure your pack will become very organized in time. Oh, they'll be organized. They just, they'll be very organized because I'll name them according to their bases and how many markings their hat they have, but they're not going to have actual names because that's not how I roll. <laughs> that's just not how we do things. All right, uh, I think that's it for all of the beginner quests, except for send in the scouts, which I can't yet, I can't yet complete that until my wolf uh, is finished scouting. So I guess I'll have to finish that later. That's it for today. Thank you all so much for joining me and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.